Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So as of now guys, we have done this uh, training and validation split, okay, of our data. Now in this video, what I will do, I will uh, apply some of the augmentation technique, okay. Uh, because see, uh, whenever you do like augmentation of your data, like before uh, giving this data into your model, okay. Uh, so that actually you, you are just trying to increase your data, okay. Suppose if you apply augmentation technique, uh, so your data will look like a little bit different, okay. So in augmentation, actually, we'll be applying some of the zooming operation. You will be like doing some uh, brightness changing. Okay, you'll be doing some random flipping. That's why actually you can change the you can say data type. Okay, so 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 that your model can learn in a better way. Your model will be more robust. Okay, so that uh, your model can see all possible option. Okay, of your data. So it is uh, like one of the super important thing in the field of uh, computer vision. Okay, whenever you are working with the images, because see, uh, data collection is like. A very hard thing okay and uh, we can't collect actually tons of data so if you have like less amount of data and uh, if we apply this kind of augmentation technique so it will help you a lot okay so now what i will do uh, i'll be like defining some of the you can say function okay uh, of the augmentation okay so like for different different function i'll be writing here like zooming uh, like uh, you can say brightness okay these are the like different different uh, augmentation technique i'll be applying here okay so let me define some of them so guys, uh, this is uh, one of the like augmentation, uh, like uh, very famous augmentation technique called zooming. Okay. Suppose you have your raw images. Okay. And you want to zoom a little bit that images. Okay. Now let's visualize and see like how it works. So first of all, what I will do, I will read one image. Okay. So this is my image path. I think you remember. So we have our image path and here I have all of my image path. Okay. Image. Okay. Image of the path. So what I'm doing, I'm just, uh, I'm just taking one of them okay uh, using like random so it will just randomly pick up one of the images and uh, mpimg okay here I think if you see I have importing mpimg okay from matplotlib so using that actually I'm loading the image here okay I'm reading the image then after that actually I'm applying the zooming okay that means this augmentation technique okay now let's visualize that so guys, this is the code uh, to visualize this one so first of all here I'm uh, visualizing two things one is like our original image so guys here if you see i'm uh, plotting like two things one is my original image which is nothing but this one okay and we are uh, like uh, i mean uh, rendering our uh, zoom zoom image okay which is nothing but this one okay and here i'm taking the soft plot okay now if i execute this one so you will see the output okay now guys uh, if you see this image and this image both are like different okay this image is a little bit uh, this is our original image and this image is our zoomed image and now if you see it's a little bit zoomed okay so this is another augmentation technique you can talk about. Now let's define uh, other one. So guys, this is another function I have written uh, called pan. Okay, this is another augmentation technique. Now uh, let's uh, read our image and uh, let's visualize and I will show you like how it works. So guys, here I'm reading the image. Here if you see, uh, I'm just taking one image randomly. Okay, from my image path. Now let's visualize this one also. So basically here I will be uh, also writing the same code. Okay. Now here I'm uh, like rendering my original image and my band image. Now if I execute. Okay guys. Now see this is your original image and this is your band image. Inside band image what has wh like what has happened. See you can see there are some uh, like black background. Okay. Uh, at the corner of the image. Okay. So we, we call it like pan. Okay. Pan technique. So it's done. Now let's uh, apply some other technique here. So guys, uh, the technique I'm going to use here, which is nothing but your uh, random brightness. Okay. So it will change the brightness of your original image. Okay. So now let's test it also. So I'll read the image. Okay. I'm reading, reading the image and let's uh, also plot this one. Okay. Now if I execute. Yeah, guys. So if you see, uh, this is my original image and this is the brightness altered image. Okay. See, this is like, uh, so guys here, if you observe on this image, so here you will feel like uh, brightness is more here and this is like a little bit darker. Okay. That means it has decreased the brightness here. Now let's apply some different technique. So I'll be using like this uh, image random flip. So this is another, uh, I mean, very famous technique. Okay. Augmentation technique called random flip. Okay. Now let's also read our image and visualize. Let's plot it. So guys, uh, this is the original image and this is the flipped image. Okay. See, it has flipped the image. Okay. So yes, guys, this four augmentation technique I will be applying uh, in my data set. Okay. I think it's enough, but uh, if you want to add more, okay, if you know other technique like there, uh, you can say mosaic technique is also there. Okay. 
you can also use this one uh, i think uh, you can do it okay so if you just search on internet like different different augmentation technique uh, in python okay so you will get a lots of function like that okay so you can uh, apply some of them okay uh, so i want to give you these uh, things as an assignment okay so you can do it okay you can apply some of the other augmentation technique also so i was uh, doing uh, like some of the experiments so i used this for like you can say augmentation technique and it was like working for me fine okay so you can use uh, this for technique it's fine now uh, here i'll be creating a one final function okay so this is like random augment augment okay i named this function so inside that actually i'm calling all of my like you can say augmentation technique okay here if you see first of all so here i have written one uh, like final function so inside that actually i'm calling all of my four augmentation technique here if you see pan zoom okay then uh, brightness okay everything then random flip okay uh, like this for augmentation technique i'm like calling inside that so this function actually i'll be using okay whenever i'll be generating my batch images okay at that time I, i'll be calling this one okay so this is your final function now if you want to test this function so just write this code okay so let's take some of the images and let's apply this uh, function on top of that okay here if you see uh, here basically what i am doing i'm so here what i'm doing actually here i'm taking 50 images okay and applying this random augmented function okay so it will basically perform all the four augmentation technique and here you, you will see okay all the images okay original image with respect to their augmented one okay so you can like test it like that okay but this is not your our final code here we are not uh, like you can say applying our augmentation technique okay throughout our entire data so we'll be using this function whenever we'll be generating the batch okay so what is batch generation i will tell you like whenever i'll be uh, doing this one okay yes guys i think that's all uh, from this video we have uh, you can say uh, apply different different augmentation technique and uh, we also understand like uh, why we need to like apply this kinds of augmentation technique okay? why it's needed okay so yes guys uh, this is all about from my side so thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time